back to 1998. The top of our news here at 6 o'clock, an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way, hear this, to use water to run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. Are they? <laughs> Water's always are. good. Are they? Where does this guy live? <laughs> <laughs> That's the answer. Yeah, hey, why don't you come in here and uh, show us your little invention? Yeah. And he drop this J Dam into his house and just blow him up. <laughs> hey, I want to know what happened. Hey, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> CIA is very interested. Yeah. Well, this is 1998. Oh yeah, where, where are we at? Where's, where is this guy now? Where's he at? Where's the water-powered car? He's in Guantanamo. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a terrorist. I swear. <laughs> we gotta start. Swear out. to God, I'll never invent anything ever again. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, not another toe. <laughs> water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. The late Stan he has Myers. developed what's called a water fuel cell. Can you it has him? taken the place of his old gas tank. I, I was right behind you. You got it. Oh, oh wait a minute. Danny's got some news I on I guarantee him. he's dead. He died in a car and, accident. And it's something a heart attack, suspicious. car accident. What wait, 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 wait. Danny, you have the answer? Yeah. Okay. All right, hold on. Let's try. Let's try. Hold on. Hold this on. This guy is so dead. It's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> so dead. So fucking dead. Not even just dead. He's so dead. Okay. Let's... Someone bought the patent. Nothing ever happened, and he had a heart attack. I want to say yeah. that something weird in his past suddenly came up. They don't even need to kill you anymore. They I'm going to just... say a knife fight in a bar. No, it's got to be a car crash. Nah. It just has to be. Like they cut his brake lines. He something. fell down the stairs, and his family wondered why he had handcuffs on his hands and feet. <laughs> They, they did the kiddie porn thing to him. Uh, they switched his hard uh, drive. Yeah, that's what they did. A character assassination. That's what they usually go with, two inventors. Uh, All right, Danny, what do we got on Stan? Well, uh, Mr. Meyer was mysteriously poisoned. <laughs> Holy shit! Get the fuck out no, he wasn't. Here. And the poison uh, caused an aneurysm in his brain. <laughs> and he died leaving a restaurant. <clears throat> wow. That's a, a theory. Oh, man, Bill. Oh, shit. You see? I, oh. I'm with you. Don't, I'm, I'm so with you I'm on this one, Bill. You. I'm Don't telling you. Don't fuck with the government. The last, that's not the government. It's the oil companies who... They're, they're more telling. powerful. Yeah, they're... they're yeah, wow, like, they, they fucking got him. Yeah. They got him. Wow. And what happened to his big fucking... Well, the, the, the brother of uh, Stan claims that, uh, I think like a week or two after his death... People broke into where he had this uh, this water powered dune buggy and just just stole it for <laughs> pieces and he doesn't know what happened to this guy. Oh come on! And, and, and his brother's too stupid. Like he, he you know talent like that probably is just one person. Yeah, it was just him. Another one guy. Like, one he guy. Watches Sports Center, right? He doesn't yeah. give a fuck, right? Oh, he had a water powered. You yeah, didn't see that like that guy? The... You ever like you go on there and, the, and you see like some of the inventions that were that were just suppressed, and then they used to just always say that the person was crazy, like that guy Tesla right out there. Yeah, Long Tesla is like, l lunatic. Like, all this wireless technology, he came up with the shit, I guess in the 1800s, and you could actually you just he, there was these big ugly things, but you'd put it in, and he somehow tapped in the electricity or whatever and you could everyone could have had it for free and then they <laughs> like wi-fi electricity yeah and then they just went up and hey, that's real interesting yeah put him in a fucking headlock you know <laughs> he's crazy he's talking about force fields and, and right, aliens he's out of his fucking mind and they just totally destroyed him <laughs> as a human being and like 150 years later now and edison was their guy hey thomas edison wires Dude, goes to a power station you pay for it let's go back to the news story from 1998 uh, oh. more on stan meyer yeah it has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. And the oil company said, here's some poison water. <laughs> yeah, yeah so here cool. you go. So to what? Did you water, say in, the, in the Pentagon is interested? Yeah. You know what kills me is it's so That's fucking. Bad. It's so fucking obvious. It's just like that. Really is. Like, just, and you know, I would sit here and argue with Bill Burr about this, this and go, "This good. is bullshit." I can't I believe am they so killed him. With you I, here. I, I thought that they were just going to go the not the, only did destroy they, his character, not, not did they, they kill him. Not only. Did, oh, that's horrible. Not only did uh, they kill him, we knew that he was dead. Had to be dead. I I never heard of this guy before. Anyone Poison. else? I All can't right. believe the I second part of the story. 
Meyer started working on this project four years ago. He's not a scientist. He isn't even a chemist. In fact, he never graduated from college. Uh, Myers was determined, he says, to design something to protect this country from oil embargoes. Uh, and we have calculated that if we take the dune buggy from Los Angeles to New York, we would roughly use 22 gallons of water. The Pentagon flew a lieutenant colonel in last week to look at Myers' invention. There's talk of possibly using it in the Star Wars defense program and to run army tanks. Myers is currently perfecting a water fuel cell for cars. It will cost about $1,500. He says it won't need any maintenance and you won't have to replace it. Wait, It'll be at least two years before the fuel system goes into mass production. The date happens will be one the fuel industry hates. But it'll put a smile on the face of those who've had to say at one time or another, fill her up. This is oh, fill her up. He, just, all right. he wrote his death sentence right there. <laughs> oh, that was it. God, this not, is, knowing I'm, he's dead is so obvious. They flew in a colonel. A lieutenant 19, colonel was flown in, and this is it's like that Brady Bunch yeah. episode when they <laughs> yeah, saw the, the UFO. No, this has got to be older than '98 because they said the Star Wars defense. This has got to be older than '98. Oh, there you go. It's no, a UFO. I, no, it's swamp gas. Everything I found oh, referenced 1998. Wow, yeah. okay. Wow. Dude, that he is basically amazing. came up with a way to, to make, kill to make to the, get the people murdered. who are making the most money in this country to go broke. Broke. I've discovered a way to fuck over the Illuminati. And <laughs> Come on over to my house. <laughs> That's it. You're done. You're fucking done. Illuminati. <laughs> and there's no way. There, you couldn't just prevent people from grabbing a bucket of water from somewhere, you know. So they can't, they can't capitalize it. The oil companies can't go. Okay, now we're the water company. No the way number, to the sell number it. way, one way to control people is if you control the energy. They figured it out years ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. centuries ago. Whatever. We need it. Wow. So, yeah. So they got everybody. So if this guy, you know, it's just like, hey, you want to go to Connecticut? I got a bottle of water here, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. That's and then he was saying, it's going to be a day, you know, bad day for the oil companies, but <laughs> a good day for people that want to say, fill her up. But before that day, there's going to be a bad day for Stan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's going to start with the guy shooting a little dart into his <laughs> neck from across the fucking it's gonna, room. It's going to start with liquid diarrhea and end <laughs> with death. I'm surprised they didn't take out his brother, too. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the kind of thing. They that probably really, he must have been some kind of Billy Carter moron motherfucker that they just figured ah, there's no chance. He's retarded. Just give him some pennies to play with. All those guys. I used to bit my act about that shit. We, we used to you'd see these guys in the news. They'd figure out how to make their, their truck run on, like, ketchup or something. And they, they'd always show it. And then you just never see never the guy hear again. about him anymore. The <laughs> uh, companies are really looking into this, taking yeah. a strong interest. So, uh, what's the weather going to be like this weekend? <laughs> and it just goes away. End and then of that, story. That guy's at like a fat burger, like six months later, all of a sudden just clutching his chest. <laughs> <laughs> just falls over. <laughs> That motherfucker was just like, and it's going to cost next to nothing. It never has to be replaced. And good news, a colonel's being flown in. L.A. to you know New York means? on a fucking thimble of water, and a lieutenant colonel and an assassin are being flown in he said, from the Pentagon. He said everything wrong. Everything. Uh, ring the bell every time this uh, this stand says something. Uh, that that, that got killed. the Pentagon's ear? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got something good? What is it? Yeah. Let me hear it. All right, this will happen every time. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the assassin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the assassin, like practicing uh, with a target of Stan, stupid in the Stan bowel, in the bowels of the Pentagon. All right, here's, oh, here's that same story again. Listen for all the things he probably shouldn't have said. The top our news here at six o'clock: an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way. Hear this: to use water to run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. Water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. He has developed what's called a water fuel cell. It has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're really desperate, empty the ice, ice cube tray. <laughs> Anything. Spit in it. Right. It'll take you to fucking Florida. Or lay a bunch of cactuses uh, out and put plastic, plastic. in a locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Lick your locker! <laughs> right. 
Holy Jesus! Oh, I'm a kidding. So dead. Can you come up with uh, uh, an, another way where you could even? I'm trying to think air. How, how you air. how you how can you top air getting Oxygen. killed that that quickly? That is well, the worst thing he could have said. The only people that weren't impressed were people that lived in like New Mexico and Arizona. <laughs> Oh, holy <laughs> shit. He fucked up so badly. The, so dead. The, he just, go, just the, go to a mosque in the Middle East and just yell, fuck Allah, and, <laughs> yeah. and you'll, live, you'll live longer. 